Hey guys, so today we're going to do a little recipe for my favorite salad dressing. I know it's been a minute since I've uploaded, but you know what they say, better late than pregnant. So I'm just going to show you what ingredients you'll be needing. You'll be needing some salt. Sea salt, table salt, whatever. You will be needing a lemon. Now I'll have the exact recipe amounts in the bottom bar, but I tend to just eyeball when I make it. This is the secret ingredient. You will need some pomegranate molasses. You can find this at any Middle Eastern specialty store, but I mean, with how diverse grocery stores are, you might be able to find this one just about anywhere. Now this isn't an ingredient, but if you have one, it's just a little lemon squeezer. You'll need some extra virgin olive oil, some EVOO, Sometimes I don't put this because I think I like the strong flavor, but um, if you're making it for guests who may not like the tartness so much, this is a very acidic dressing. You can put some Dijon in there to kind of counter that. I know Dijon's kind of has a bite to it, but the pomegranate molasses is no joke. So you can put some Dijon. And you will need a vinegar. I particularly like the red wine vinegar. But you can use regular. Um, I also like honey balsamic vinegar with this. You need a cutting board. You can use a bowl and a whisk to make your dressing, or you can do what I'm going to do, because I'm lazy. Now I have a small mason jar somewhere. I don't know kitchen. if that's somewhere it is, but um, I'm just going to use this old tahini jar. Anything with a lid, really, will work for your dressing, because instead of whisking it, I'm going to shake it. So, if you want to see how I make this dressing, just keep watching. Okay, it's time to start our dressing. So, I'm gonna start by first taking our lemon and cutting it in half. going to juice it. Now if you don't have one of these little nifty sifters, what I do in a pinch is I just squeeze it this way and I catch all the seeds in my hand and I throw them. But today I'm fancy. So juice your lemon and what helps sometimes if your lemon is not maybe feeling particularly juicy is to stick it in the microwave for like 10 seconds and it'll kind of make it 
get the juices flowing, I suppose. Yeah, before this, make sure you washed your hands. Unless I guess you're making it for yourself and you like the added, whatever it is, hand sweat flavor. <laughs> so. Juice the other one. Now I'm gonna eyeball this because I don't mind if I make too much because I'll just use it throughout the week. But I love it because it's so tart. If you like a balsamic vinaigrette, you'll love this. It's even more... It's about the same tartness, but it has a bit of sweetness. And if you hear any extra noises ooh, <laughs> that aren't from this lemon, it could be a number of I'm not a huge fan of lemon zest, but some people do like to zest their lemons and put it in the dressing. I won't be needing this anymore. Now, put your bowl or jar back in place. We're going to get started. Next, it's basically going to be me pouring a bunch of stuff into this jar. So take your lemon juice. And pour it in there. Now, I'm going to take some vinegar. I could find the honey balsamic. I know I'm telling you a many million things you could add, but another really good thing to put in this is actual honey. It's so good. So. I'm basically gonna let it turn a pink color. a lot of vinegar in my house. Sometimes not just for cooking, but it's good for cleaning your floors. Next, move this out the way for a second. We're going to use this pomegranate molasses. This stuff, I can eat this straight, like off a spoon. Is so freaking good, but it's really sour. Like, you know, the juice you get, just imagine it amplified. So, I'm gonna add just a bit and taste a bit too. Oh, it's so sour, not a bit more, but it's just. This is not for the faint of heart, as far as eating it straight. Put that away. Like I said, you can add Dijon. I'm kind of contemplating it, but um, I'm not going to. I'm going to add salt. Now you want to add a good helping of salt because it is a very vinegar-ish, tart, sour taste. So 
you want to kind of balance that with the salt. It's also sweet. So with this, adding the salt, you have tart, sweet, and salty. And if you, it depends on, I guess, what kind of salad you put it on. I love this over strawberries, um, maybe a leafy green, and blue cheese, or goat cheese. Really good. Okay. Now we're going to pour our oil. Now if you're doing this with this, uh, a bowl and a whisk, you'll need to whisk and pour. But I'm going to shake it. So I'm just going to add a layer of oil. Kind of check it. I like to do about a 50-50 ratio with my oil because I like um, it to coat my salad. And the brand of olive oil I used is Pompeian. Usually I use the one we get from overseas. It actually has pieces of olive in it, but it's in a really big jar. So I'm going to shake this up off camera and I'll show you the results. So whenever it's done, it turns this light brown color and I just put it in this little serving dish. Also, what I really like to do with this is dip bread in it. It's so good that way. So if you try this recipe, just let me know how you like it. If you make any adjustments you think are better. And I'd love to try them out because I love pomegranate molasses. So I hope you like this video. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye.